This is welcome and goodbye from California Gully. The best view you'll get of California Gully is the one in your rear view mirror as you're driving out of town. You can stay here for no longer than three minutes, but the trauma will last you a lifetime. This one. In 1848, California gold rush began. And there was a massive influx up until 1852 when they heard Australia had found gold. So a whole lot of Californian miners came to this area, and that's why it's called California Gully. For the struggling miner, economy was the major struggle for erecting a building. I'm at Hard Hill, erected in 1874. Mud was not in short supply in Bendigo, and so this cottage was built with mud bricks. They have lasted so well because this stereo has been protected with rendering and a veranda. Here I stand in California Gully and behind me would probably be the best example of architecture here. So we've got a nice little example of a Victorian building by the local butcher. Well I don't know if he actually slaughtered animals in the, in the place behind me. Maybe in the garage that was created to the left. But anyway his name was Joseph Pabst. Pabst, P-A-B-S-T. Uh, not a bad little example of Victorian stucco, but they removed some of the urns and the pediments from the top some years back. Built in 1893, Peter. Yeah, okay, 1893. So
what you see behind me is the original National School built in 1865. It changed hands when a new school, the California State School, was built on Belltopper Hill in 1883. In December of that year, the California Galley Mechanics Institute was officially opened. The veranda was added in 1891. Well, that's about all for today. I hope you've enjoyed our walk around California Gully to see these few remaining buildings. Modern buildings have taken over most of the old buildings, but whatever is left is well preserved. Anyway, on to our next adventure. Bye for now.